10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and lift off of the Delta II with Grail on a journey to the center of the moon. Chamber pressure rising in all six grounded solid motors. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. Good chamber pressure on both burniers. Good chamber pressure on all six groundlet motors. 20 seconds into the flight. We have 29 seconds. Mark, 29 seconds. Mach 1, vehicle now going transonic. 35 seconds in. 38 seconds in, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure in the vehicle. Coming up on the 45 second mark. Mark, 45 seconds in, altitude 3.4 nautical miles, downrange distance 13.4 nautical miles, velocity 1742 miles per hour. Coming up on the one minute mark. Mark, one minute into the flight, standing by for solid motor burnout, about 10 seconds from now. Pressure decreasing on the solids. Standing by for burnout. And we have burnout. Standing by for SEP. And we have separation. And we have ignition on the three airlet motors. The three airlet motors have come up on chamber pressure. Chamber pressure on the airlet motors. One minute, 39 seconds into the flight. The Delta vehicle now only weighs about one half of what it did at launch, expelling propellant now at the rate of about 2,700 pounds per second. One minute, 50 seconds in. Altitude now 21.8 nautical miles. Downrange distance 51 nautical miles. Velocity 4,493 miles per hour. Thirty seconds now remaining on our three airlit motors. Chamber pressure is beginning to decline. We have a good engine control in the main engine, good engine control in the verniers, settling down from the initial launch transients. Standing by for burnout of the three airlit motors. And we are we have burnout, standing by for separation. And we have separation.